this first full day in Kyoto. Come join us for a full day of eating. I 35 with the top down, quit to tell a hater they should get like me. Seem like everybody wanna be the boss, but it costs and these lames ain't like me. Drop a couple bands on the crypto fans, no way go. I ain't gotta tell them what it is. Tell them I'm a grown man, so you'll never fool me with the cap you be selling to the kids. Show we the lords of the land, we wavy. So first full day here in Kyoto. We're headed out early this morning to grab coffee and donuts. It's one of our favorite places that we came to last time we were in Kyoto. So we thought we'd start the trip out with a bang and go there. And then we've got a full day of eating as per usual. So come on and join us. to stop there and he got a pour over coffee it was called weekenders coffee weekenders coffee i had a nice little honduran naturally processed v60 pour over for any of you coffee nerds out there it was excellent to get to sit out in the little car park have a little mug of coffee on a nice cool morning in kyoto it was really good and nice little vibey cafe with you know the autumn leaves and stuff out the front so We'll definitely be making that a local, seeming it's about a two minute walk from our hotel. Anyway, on to coffee shop number two for the morning. Donuts, which is Brooke's absolute favorite donut shop in all of Japan that we've found so far. They're based in Kyoto, just outside of Nishiki Market, so super touristy area. It's also a spot that they do pretty decent coffee as well. So if you're a coffee drinker and don't mind a sweet little treat, it's definitely worth a visit. And the interior of it is on point. It's um Let's be honest, it's like an Instagrammer's dream in here. Neon lights, we got a neon Albert Einstein eating a donut. We have all the wicker baskets all over the roof. And while you sit here and have your coffee and have your donut, you can also watch them make ice top all the donuts that they sell here. It's essentially coffee in a show. Okay, we're at our favorite donut spot again, as Ryan's probably filled you in. So these are the donuts we decided to get today. So this one's creme brulee. So I think it's filled with custard from what I could see, but we'll find out in a minute. And then we got a fluffy caramel, I think they called this one. And then a mulchy mulchy strawberry. All right, I've got a friend now to help me taste test. So let's see how we go. Mmm, yum, so good crispy top. It's not overly sweet, although it's covered in sugar. It's not like sickly sweet. And the custard's really nice. Very delicious. Ooh. Mm. It's almost like a burnt caramel. It's not like your overly sweet caramel either. It's more like your burnt style. Really, really nice. Again, a bit more fluffier inside, a bit more like airy. Mmm. Mm. That one's got like, the strawberry is just like, so strawberry it's not even funny. And it's got little dehydrated bits of strawberry on it. The mochi chew on that one's delicious. A lot more dense, 
than the other ones. I thought it would be a bit more like squishy and airy, but a little bit more dense, delicious though. That creme brulee one. So good, hey. The I, shell. I love custard in this country. Mm. Mm. See what I mean? It's not like. It's more of like a burnt caramel, yeah, it's nice. It's tastes yeah. like strawberry jam. Yeah. The icing tastes like strawberry jam. Yum. So good. I love the mochi yeah. donuts here in Japan. Mm. With the extra chew, they use the rice flour through it and it makes it extra chewy and delicious. Can't go wrong. What's your, What's your pick of the bunch? My pick of the bunch is the creme brulee with the custard. Mm. I'm an absolute sucker for custard in Japan. Can't go wrong. And hey, the coffees aren't bad either. We decided it was probably best if we went for a walk to walk them off a little bit. So we've just come for a little stroll through Gion, um, which is sort of like the traditional heart of Kyoto. Uh, lots of people wearing kimonos and getting photos. A couple of weddings happening. Really nice with the autumn fall leaves. Um, it's really nice, like really stunning. Now we've walked off our donuts. That means it is time for some lunch. So we're gonna go head back a bit closer to the hotel, see what we can find, and we'll take you guys along with us. So we might have just eaten one of the best bang for your buck lunches that we've ever had in Japan. So we're just walking down the street on our way over to Gion to go suss out a few things and take some photos, and we spotted a udon and soba shop, which was a standing only shop. And I think, so I got the curry udon, and that was, had an egg in it, and Brooke had the niku soba. So good. Crazy little atmosphere as well. It fit about five people standing only in there. Um, two old Japanese grandmas cooking all the soba and cooking all the udon. Yeah, uh, there was no English babies. A lot of pointing, a lot of smiling, and a lot of bowing. Um, but yeah. It's things like that that make you fall in love with Japan, those little experiences. But it's probably like the best meal we've had. This trip so far anyway, Japan, I, think. I think. Yeah, this trip so far, it was like that really authentic, mm. you know, hole in the wall sort of shop. So, you know, left us happy and full bellies afterwards. Mm. So now we've got to go walk that off. Hey guys, tonight we've decided to try a new Gyudon restaurant. We have a different chain just down the road from our hotel. So we're gonna go try Matsuya tonight. Come on, let's go. Food is very promptly ready to eat. Mia is extremely excited about okay. dinner as well. Just a little chair. She's got found a little high chair, so she's happy. So here's mine, which I'm very excited about. This is a uh, festive thing for the winter in Japan. It's a sort of a promo item. It is some stewed beef hamburger that's uh, done with wagyu rib, apparently from Japan, so I'm excited to try that. Also got a nice soft boiled egg, some kimchi, comes with miso soup, some rice, and then Brookie got, talking through yours. So I got a gyudon bowl, um, I got the large size, I got some extra spring onions, because none came on it this time, so we'll do that. 
and then a little thing of miso soup, which came in the set, and then it was a free refills drinks. Yep. So I got a what was this one? Fanta melon. It's Fanta a melon flavored Fanta, and I got a I think it's an orange juice with soda water. That's exactly what it is. It's non orange juice with soda water. Non-alcoholic mimosa. All of this cost under 2,000 yen. So this is dinner for us tonight. Um, yeah, which blows me away. So all of this cost us about $19.50. Uh, so under $20 for a full feast each. Like this will be more than enough food for the two of us. If you're in Japan and you do want a cheap, convenient feed, at any time of the day or night. I think these guys are open till like midnight. Any of the gyudon chains like Sukiya, Yoshinoya, Matsuya, any of those that you come to, you will always get a relatively decent feed, very cost effective. And it's that, you know, homey, heartwarming sort of meal, nice in winter. You know, it's comfort food at its finest. You're probably thinking too, this is what, like our fourth gyudon? Something like that, that we've had a fair bit of gyudon while we've been here already. It's been a little bit hard, as we said previously, with Mia and going out for dinners and that. So we've tried to do as much as we can through the day and then keep the dinner time a little bit more convenient, closer to our hotel room tonight we thought we'll just commit something easy this is what like 60 meters away from our hotel yeah. so nice and convenient we can park the pram Mia's got a little seat with her toy strapped on as well so the whole family is happy big time all right soft boiled egg going on the rice on the rice this time yep Mm. Yeah, yum. That's a really nice beef patty. I'm happy with that. That's good. It's really tasty. It's um, it's not like curry at all. It's more like... It reminds me of like a home-cooked stew. Like what you do, more of like a brown onion gravy. Phenomenal. Really nice. Beef looks very fatty, which we like. What do you think, Mia? They all taste the same, like good. Yeah. They're all good, but you can't be like, oh, I like, like, I can't tell the difference between them all really. So. Mm. There you go. Delicious, cheap, and convenient. Definitely give any of the gyudon chains a go if you're in Japan, especially Matsuya, which we can vouch for, and also Sukiya, which we went to in the previous video that you guys would have seen if you're subscribed to the channel. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more of our food recommendations in the future. Anyway, we're gonna smash through this, get home, World Cup's on tonight, important stuff. That's a wrap on dinner and our food day today. Matsuya, excellent, great value for money. Mm. It's not like overly knock your socks off or anything, but it's good comfort food just to like finish the day, easy meal, go back to your hotel, eat some ice cream. Yeah, is that a hint? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll stop off at the family mart on the way home. Um, to be honest, great way to cap off a food day. We've had a pretty good food day today. Mm. Starting off with co-donuts, mm, having- I forgot about all that. Yeah, having donuts for breakfast, like can't go wrong. Few coffees in the mix as well. And then our udon and soba at our little stand-up restaurant and now Matsuya to finish off the day. And by the sounds of things, we're going to Family Mart for an ice cream. Yeah. So. Anyway guys, if you have watched this whole video and you've gotten to here and you've enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment down below and we will see you guys in the next one.